So me and Jen, we just got here at OFR, and look what we found. A couple of bungees, <laughs> or parakeets as people call them, but yeah. I don't know where they came from yet, I haven't talked to Rich, but I understand he broke a rib last night as well. You guys heard on the video how he tripped and broke his toe moving that tank yesterday. Well, evidently he was here taking care of Tracy last night, tripped over the cord, and busted a rib. So I'll go, we'll go check in and see how he's doing. Oh, okay. Yesterday at the moving the fish tank, oh, we carried the tank out. We got it on the trailer. We were able to back the trailer up too. He had like a two steps, and then we folded the, the the tailgate down. So we walked right onto the trailer with the big tank. Um, we had eight of us carrying it, and then we were able to do it. Six of us couldn't do it. We, we were able to move it like a foot. It was heavy. So. Uh, I go, and I'm down here beside the trailer, and I go to walk up the steps. I put my foot on the step, and the whole step came out of the ground and tumbled towards me, which I went down. Oh, I hit my God. knee, my, my pinky toe, and my big toe, and then my elbows. And, you know, Josh and Rich come running over to me. They try to pick me up. I'm like, leave. Just leave me be. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm like, it, it, it hurts, you know. And I'm trying not to yell out or nothing, but I'm laying there in the rain on my back, and I'm just... Uh, so finally they help me up and I get up and I'm like, yeah, I broke my toe. And they're like, no, it looks fine. I'm like, no, it's broken, trust me. And, uh, uh, you know, there was no black or blueness or nothing yet. So then we come home from uh, from doing all that. We get the tank set up and stuff. I come in here and I'm taking care of Tracy now. The nurse is gone. I walk around the end of Tracy's bed. Now I'm on the phone with my buddy. And we're talking about, he, he had broken his rib. And we're talking about that and, oh, it sucks, that's horrible. You can't breathe in, you can't laugh, you know. And I walk past Tracy's bed and my pinky, broken pinky toe hooks the extension cord and bends my toe sideways. I scream and fall forward. The phone gets launched out of my hand. And then I, I on the way down, ouch, let me see if I can, I'll use the phone. On the way down, I hit the edge, I'm flying like this, of the, the rocker into my ribs right under my nipple and it flips me sideways and I land on my back on the ground. I don't have the phone in my, I'm screaming, ow, 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 ow. And I, you know, I'm just, I got my hands in the fist. After about, you know, a good, probably half a minute or so, I, I try and roll over and I realize my, my rib's broken. I can't roll over onto my belly. I had to get up on my knees and my, and I get the phone and he's like, dude, are you all right? I, I, I didn't know whether to call 911 or the police or life alert. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. So, um, like, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just broke my rib, though. He goes, get out of here. I'm like, yeah, I swear. I just broke my rib. I know I did. And then uh, he goes, well, here, breathe in. So I took a big breath in, and I started screaming. He's like, yeah, you broke your rib. Oh, <laughs> so, and on both times, nobody got it on video. The first time was in front of all these people, but nobody was videoing. The second time was here at the house, but the camera was pointing at Tracy, yeah. not me. So, and I'm in here by myself. I really thought, man, that life alert thing's really a good idea. <laughs> wow. Jeez, wow. Buddy. All right, so we just brought the hose. Oh, hey, we got a leak on the end of that hose. We're going to have a heck of a... We got a leak over there. Where? It's oh, leaking all over the carpet. See I that, know. Jen? But we hooked this up to the uh, RO system and Rich has got the salt water filling up. It's going to take a while dribbling, but <laughs> we did get it hooked up. So. Okay, grab me a bucket and we'll put it in a bucket. Alright, Rich is a little worried on this tank. We're going to stick one more in the middle to keep it from bowing at all for the next couple of days. Shouldn't be hard at all. It's not gonna work. It's too uh It's a little too short. Yep. A little too short. Alright, we'll ask Rich what he wants to do. So we grabbed some plywood. We're gonna try to raise this little cart up a little bit. But now it's too Good. tall. We can do it like that. That'll work. It's 
It's about 28 degrees here, and we're worried about the tank being brittle and risk cracking, so I'm trying to add a little bit of support to prevent that from happening. Okay. That should keep it from uh, bowing down any, so it shouldn't crack. All right. Here we go. Okay, look, we got Reaper and Jen working together. Jen's feeling the plants, seeing if they're dry. Reaper's coming in and making them wet behind them. <laughs> Stop it, people. I don't know you guys' dirty minds. I don't know. All I know is the plants are dry and Reaper's, you know, making them wet. You guys are just silly. And then if you can see the the tank cleared up. Oh look at that. And it's starting to fall onto the right side there. Look how nice. So two, three days and it clears up nice as can be because all that sand's rubbing together, basically making it cloudy. After it pretty much rinses it all itself off and been run through a couple times, then the water ain't cloudy no more. But me and Josh both remembered we had like a tinfoil ball stuffed into this corner so that it came out more over here. And we got to do that again. But yeah, it's, it's looking good. Oh. There you go. Hopefully, I need the brown ones like that. Yeah, the brown stuff, get rid of it. Because this will flower again here. To get water out of the pool oh, or the plants. It should be another uh, what? I believe. Yeah. We could set that in the water in the river out there as soon as it gets warm outside. Mm -hmm. The only ones we leave in is that piece lily and I think one on this shelf over here. All the rest of this goes back outside for the summer. Makes that pond look awesome out there. And you want to cut them as close to the bottom as possible. Are you not leaving them stalks? That, that is the way it grows. We have the uh, 180 filling over there with, through the reverse osmosis. So it's filling up with RO water. And I got to mix the sand. That's all. It's not live rock no more. It's dead rock and dead sand. But it is. It used to be live. And uh, what we're going to do is fill it up. And then we're going to hook up FX5s to it to help cycle it and get rid of the ammonia spike and all that. When it's down level, we'll have the sump running. Well, the sump will be running the whole time. Filling up the bio balls and all that kind of stuff with bacteria. But, you know, it's going to take at least a month before we'll be able to transfer from here to there. So, I've got more of these lights here, these radions. Uh, so I'm thinking of putting three on here because that's a three foot tank, and it's it's got one light. So you think you'd put two on here, but it don't have a divider in the middle on two sides. It has two dividers, so three open areas. So I'm thinking three of the radions. I have five. I have seven of them sitting here, so I can put three on there and be good. All run from the same program and be good. It's awesome. Hey, Jen, the green leaves? Let's not cut them off. <laughs> no, no, look at the base, though. The base rotting. Oh, I see. It, gotcha. It would have died. Yep. I tried to argue with him. You yeah, you can't argue with Raper. <laughs> <sighs> look at how nice these plants are doing. All new leaves. Oh my goodness, this is doing so good. And this is, this is how tall I am. That's at my head. That's probably two and a half foot. There's eight foot at the end of my hand. So that's pretty much close to nine foot tall. Same thing with this. Dawn gave us this, Reaper's wife, and look how good it's growing.
We started another pothos over here. We just set the pot right in the water. And now it's all starting to grow. You can see the new growth on the lane. We're gonna have, that's pothos all through the, the river over there. That's gonna all retake off come summertime here. I just don't have good luck growing these. My last house, that's all I could grow was the spider plants. Had zillions of babies. And now I can't get them to grow here for the life of me. I mean, they're growing, but there's no babies and they're not doing good. I don't get it. Well, let's look at the frontosa tank. Oh my God, look how many snails are all, look at these are all snails. These are all snails on there. That whole glass is covered with snails. Look at that. All the way down. They're everywhere in there. And look at all the gravel. That's all snails down there. Look at all these snails. This is crazy. They're all over the place. I feel like a mass murderer when I take the, the magnet and look at all the snails falling off of the glass. Now I'm going to go back. Alright, now we'll come this way. At least get them all off the glass, but look how many's on the gravel. <sighs> Should put the Fajaca puffer in here for a while. He won't even bother the frontosa. He'll just concentrate on all the snails. There, now there's no snails on the glass. Now, you guys might laugh at me. There's nothing we can do about a broken rib. But look what I did about my broken toe. I cut one of my flip-flops out, out, open. You can see the broken toe. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. That's all purple and yellow, yuck. So I cut the whole corner of the flip-flop out to where, ouch, when my foot is in it, my broken toe is suspended above the ground. I'm not touching my toe on the ground whatsoever. It makes it way easier to walk. So now I just got to worry about my rib and I got to remember not to laugh or yawn or lay on my belly. <laughs> um, here, Jen, take this. Give me the knife. Take this and watch this. I'm going to show you guys. See, this, this plant here, it's got stalks growing up and then it's got the leaves at the top and it wants to bend over. So you, you tie them together like this, you know, right here. Well, another another way to do this is if you take and put nicks in it. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> if you put nicks in it, it'll start new stalks. Like this was a nick I put in here. So this one right here. Oh, it's growing, oh, growing another one. Yeah. So what we want to do is start down here to where if I put nicks in here, it'll grow another branch, and then this part here will grow twice as wide. So it'll be stronger. So we're just going to take it and go chop, 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 chop on all these here and just put nicks in there. Some will take, some will make a new branch and others will just heal up. And that's my trick of the day. Thank you. There's the knife bag. So yeah, now, now that we start a new stock, you know, this whole, from here it'll stay the same size, but this here will get thicker because now it's feeding this stalk and this stalk. So, yeah. Come and run. Well, he does have long fins. Oh, I know he does. He's fancy. Gazelle gonna follow you. <laughs> go, Chad, go! Go, go, go! Get my cardio workout in. <laughs> I wish I had a video of me following her. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're like right on her butt. Yeah, right in there, yeah. He's like, you can't outrun me. <laughs> All right, and the white fancy one's in there. Look at her go. Yeah. Nice. Right. And we got one more. I don't have to run for this part. <laughs> no. Okay, now she'll get fish number two. Okay, got it netted. And time to run. Then moved. All right, so we're going to take the puffer and we're going to put them in the front toes of tank. Checking everybody out. They're checking him out. Now he will eat the tar out of them snails. And clear that snail problem right up. Problem is, when we see hardly no more snails left, we have to get them out of there. <laughs> all in all, we still got quite a bit done, even with Big Rich being somewhat out of commission. Not really. I mean, he's he's hurting and he's sore, so there's not a lot of lifting or things he can do. But we still got a bunch of stuff done. Uh, me and Jen, we even moved uh, moved around some of the fishing and all the quarantine tanks, so we took care of some of those as well. So we got quite a bit done today, anyways. And there's still a bunch of stuff in the van from picking up the tank, all the lights, all the filters, the sub pump, all that good stuff is still in there. But uh, again, it's been like only 20 some degrees tomorrow, 19 or 20. So we'll wait one or two more days and then uh, we'll go ahead and get that out and let Big Rich recover a little bit. But we'll get out there tomorrow and do some more things. In the meantime, hit that like, share, subscribe, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.